Alright, so today guys, I'm going to react to the five worst quarterback killer head coaches in NFL history. Let's go. Quarterbacks out there really gotta watch out because a bad head coach can threaten their entire career. I delegated the offense. Also, I take responsibility for, uh, for you know, our ineptness over that that period of time. <laughs> Worst QB killer head coaches in NFL history and the five all-time best QB gurus. QB killer, Jeff Fisher. Jeff Fisher. Fisher. Former MVP winner who helped the Tennessee Titans to his... Jeff Fisher is not the worst. ...is obviously a notable exception. But once the Titans moved on from McNair, Fisher's career was never the same. Fisher just could not get a go. Vince Young was good when he was in his prime, which was at 10 games, but... down from there. He couldn't get 2010 for his overall pick, Sam Bradford going with the St. Louis Rams. He couldn't get Nick Foles going. He couldn't do anything with 2016 first overall pick, Jared Goff, who lo and behold emerged as a pro bowler in year one under Sean McVay. Keep in mind that Foles and Bradford... Oh, I thought they were saying, like, uh, I thought they were saying Jared Goff was a bust because of that, and I was just like, bro, he's had a decent career. Actually, the story, quarterbacks always fared better when Fisher wasn't calling the show. What about Steve McNair, though? QB guru, Andy Reid. Not only is Reid making a case for the best coach in NFL history, but he looks like he'll retire as the greatest offensive minded coach slash QB guru. Hey, Andy Reid just. Uh, uh, I think Aaron. Uh, if you look up about how many. Uh, Super Bowls he has. I don't think he has enough Super Bowls as of right now to uh, to. I don't think. Uh, me just quite personally, I don't think if you look it up on. Uh, okay, I probably just found that wrong. Look at how many Andy Reid. He's 65, so he's younger than I thought. But how many? He's, how many? How many Super Bowls? Pretty obvious too. So, in counting the just a recent one. So, I think he ha I think he has to get one more to say that he's the best of all time. But he's one up there. He's up there. Six-time Pro Bowler, and if you ask us, an all-time great Hall of Fame snub. The Eagles were a juggernaut during the McNabb Reed era, leading the franchise to five NFC Championship games and a Super Bowl appearance. Then Reed turns ex-Atlanta Falcons star Michael Vick into a 2010 Comeback Player of the Year award winner as Vick powered the Eagles to an NFC East Division crown. After leaving for the Kansas City Chiefs, we can work magic with Alex Highsmith and turn the frustrating ex-San Francisco 49er into a three-time Pro Bowler. Smith led KC to five straight winning seasons, four playoff berths, and two division titles. And then there's that whole Patrick Mahomes guy. Reed and Mahomes have only led the Chiefs to the top of the NFL with two Super Bowl championships over the first five seasons together. Mahomes is only the best player in the NFL, and he has a real chance of going down as the best to ever do it. And I think a lot of the kudos has to go to Andy Reid. QB killer, Adam Gase. Gase was the... Denver Broncos offensive coordinator from 2013 to 2014. But as the entire football world knows, Peyton Manning didn't exactly need an offensive coordinator. He, he was did. pretty much the OC. Nonetheless, his case got a lot of credit for the success of that 2013 Broncos offense that recorded a single season records. Yeah, I don't think that was him. That was not Gates. That was Drew Brees. I mean, that was Peyton. That was Drew Brees. 
that was because there's this Drew Brees was on the screen. Uh, but that was Peyton Manning. Like he had the all time, except one patch. Of Yeah, the Jets are horrible. Um, they did good, decent last season. They did great for the first few games, and then the last games they just were the Jets, the classical Jets. You can't get mad with what uh, they did all the last yeah, season, though, because last season was one of their better seasons. Hey, Kirk Cousins is great on stats, but he's not even that. He's not. He's good, but he's not great. Stats say he's way better than he is. Hey, subscribe if you guys want a part two. And... Subscribe if you guys want a part two. I I really wanna do a part two, so you guys better subscribe.